everyone, Gilman with Live Wealthy Stocks back with another Tesla video, taking a look at why Tesla's shares dropped this morning on offering news, what the stock looked like during trading hours today, and what the future of the stock could look like based on support and resistance levels. So I'm really close to a thousand subs. If you could hit that subscribe button and like this video, I really would appreciate it. Um, and comment down below if you traded Tesla, if you took advantage of the movement today, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So. This is not a video, this is not the topic that I thought I would be making the video on, on us ending the, ending the day, excuse me, green, right? So let's take a look at what happened, right? So yesterday, we kind of closed here in the 630s, uh, or excuse me, 640s. We were kind of sideways going up, pushing towards the 650s, talked about how that might be a mental resistance point. Um, and then the stock was pushing up in the pre-market and it looked like, you know, I talked about, you know, we could hit that 700 mark. It looked like it could even happen today, right? We hit a high of 669.30 in pre-market and one of you guys in the comments was like, 660 something in the pre-market, let's hit 700 today. And then guess what happens right here? Um, there is news of an offering. Uh, Tesla is potentially going to sell up to $5 billion worth of shares. Um, yeah, $5 billion worth of shares. I need to relook at that. Um, but essentially there was a stock offering um, which caused the stock to go from the 660s to 614 in pre-market, um, really hitting that dip of, you know, kind of in the 618s as well. And then it just rallied kind of after, um, you know, in the 11 o'clock onward time frame. Um, it just rallied, finished the day pretty strong right around that 650 mark. So couldn't quite recover to that pre-market, but considering the fact that Tesla just had an offering, the fact that we closed green is a great accomplishment in and of itself. We are up slightly after hours at 657. It was just at uh, pretty much flat. It just kind of ran up just now. So, um, you know, take that for what you will. Um, after hours are usually kind of finicky sometimes, but we're up another $7 after hours. That puts us at 2.2 ish percent for the day. Compare that to the NASDAQ, which is a 0.5 percent. The Dow, which was a 0.37 percent, only up 110 points. And then the S&P, which is a 0.29 percent. We can see why Tesla is just so amazing to look at because it just never, never stops. Let's take a look at what the offering was. Um, yeah, so Tesla stock bounces back as analysts see $5, $5 billion stock offering as a clear positive, right? So we'll talk about what that really means. So Tesla is going to sell $5 billion worth. So that's what I said a little bit ago. Um, and and I'm, I've already covered a lot of this. This is 3.6%, the drop to 618.50. Um, and then, you know, we soared to, you know, kind of that 650s or 645, 60 in afternoon trading. So as we see um, exactly the chart I showed you, um, you know, Monday's closing price was here. We dropped below it, closed above Monday's closing price, which puts us at a green day for the stock. Why is a stock offering typically seen as a bad sign? So let's say the company is, you know, making X amount of money and they've got a hundred million shares. The, the, the division of that is what gives us earnings per share. Now, if you add to the bottom of that fraction, right? So let's say they're making $100 million and there's a million shares, you do $100 million of revenue or earnings and divided by a million, a million shares, right? So 100 million in revenue divided by a million shares. Now, if you have a million, you know, 1.1 million shares, right? You still have the same revenue divided by 1.1 million shares. The, the earnings per share value goes down, right? Gets diluted. Therefore, the value of your whatever percentage share in the company is also diluted, which is seen as a negative sign, right? The value of the company technically should remain the same, just now divided by more shares. Not the case for Tesla though, as we saw, right? Um, so let's take a look at what the tr trading action looked like. So from this drop, we got a low of 614 um, and we opened and we dropped to 618, but then we went up in the 637s, bounced off VWAP a couple times, and then we were under VWAP for a little bit as well. Um, so that was interesting to see. And then from this point on, um, when we broke out, we kind of hit VWAP a couple of times. But from that point on, the stock just ran, um, did not look back. That 650 level is something that I was watching personally um, to see if we could break that. But, uh, you know, kind of broke it, 
but we definitely broke it after hours in 658 and then we pushed down and then we pushed up to close right at 649.88. Great overall day for Apple, or for, I said Apple. Um, great overall day for Tesla, right? If we see, if we extend this line, um, it continues the journey up. Um, you know, look at this chart. The past couple weeks have been absolutely phenomenal. We were trading in the $400 range, um, broke out, and now we're past, you know, $650. More than a 50, almost a 60%. Um, you know gain in the past couple of weeks for a company like Tesla that's already really established um, So it's amazing returns in a very short amount of time and only time will tell how long this continues, right? We could definitely see $700. I was gonna say by S&P inclusion But we might even see it this week with the way that this stock is going now One thing that I do want to warn you guys about is it has gone up $50 in the course of two days There is an offering there could be a little bit of a pullback, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean the stock is kind of tanking that doesn't mean anything negative about the stock it's just a healthy part of the stock market for a stock to go up take a little breather pull back go up pull back go up right so pullbacks can happen pullbacks are healthy pullbacks are essential um, but it's something that we want to be kind of mindful of so let me plot the EMAs here. Um, so as we could see, right, the first EMA comes in right at the $600 market. It'll be right here at $599.69. Um, so that's sort of going to be uh, from a daily level support. But you know, even before that, we have um, you know some bounce points um, that we bounced off of today. So the low of today, which was $618, right, is the first point that I'm watching. If we drop, then I'm watching yesterday's low of 603. Then I'm watching 585, or excuse me, then I'm watching this 599 line, then I'm watching the 569. So um, since we are making a higher high, higher low for the past three days, um, it's you know you could look at the, the low of the day before to see kind of a uh, support point as well as all these lines. For Tesla, I like taking a look at the four day uh, four hour candle, excuse me, get rid of the VWAP here. And what we could see is the stock is really nicely playing off of the 8 view app, right? So for the past, I don't know how many days worth of um, four hour charts, right? On this 8 EMA for the past, um, let's see, this was one trading day, two trading day, three trading day, four trading days that we have on here. If you take a look, the wick typically bounces nicely off of the 8 EMA. And if the wick doesn't bounce off the 8 EMA, at least we close above it each time, right? So even with this red candle that we had this morning, the huge sort of news that came out only took us down right to the 8 EMA, right? The 8 EMA was at 624. Our low was 622.50 for that particular candle. For this four hour chart today, which was the first four hours of trading day today, we were below it, right? So our low for it was 618.50 for that four hours. But EMA was 627, but we ended above it and we ended above the, the um, we ended above the EMA here. And then lastly, um, you know, we ended, or we, we, the bottom of this four hour chart in the after, after hours so far for today is also bouncing off the EMA. That EMA is holding up as good support right until it doesn't, right? So that's the level that I'm really closely watching right now. That comes in in the after hours at 638. When it doesn't bounce off of that, right, it will bounce, uh, it has bounced off of the 21 or the 34 EMA, as we see going back to December 2nd, um, as well as, you know, kind of 1130. And we go back, we'll find more cases. So my first level that I'm watching is that 8 EMA on the four hour chart at 638. The next level is 617.34, which is the 21 EMA, which really nicely kind of comes in with our low point for today being in the 618s as well. And then I'm watching the 601 level for a 34 EMA support, but also that mental resistance of, of 600, right? Breaking down from the 600s to the 500s would be, um, you know, kind of a big deal. So now let me pull up my Tasty Work, uh, Tasty Works, and we'll kind of see what um, that could look like, right? So yeah, as if you guys have watched me for a while, you know I'm, I'm what I'm looking at here. I'm looking for that 15 EMA on the four hour chart and the 180 day SMA on the four hour chart, um, making sure that we stay above this EMA. So the EMA right now is 621.50s. Um, stock's trading decently above that near the 650 mark. Um, the reason I'm watching to make sure that it stays above it is because if we go back just a few months, um, to this level right here, what we saw was, you know, in the in the late August time period, um, when we broke, in early September rather, when we broke 
that 15 EMA, we fell all the way to the 180 to SMA, and same thing here. Um, we do have a little bit of you know support before that. We do have a little bit of distance rather between those two points. So I'm not super worried about it, but it's just something that I'm watching. So I thought I'd point it out to you. Yeah, those are the levels that I'm personally watching. A EMA um, on the four hour chart, 20, 21 and 34 EMA on the four hour chart. And then from a high point perspective, I wanna see us get that high um, today of today in the 659s. Um, and then after that, the high of that we said in pre-market approaching 670 um, and then push up hopefully towards 700 before S&P inclusion. Could be pullbacks along the way, but that's a healthy part of any stock trading um, in the long term. So hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to my channel. We're super close to a thousand subscribers um, and comment down below what your thoughts on Tesla are moving into the future. And I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.